Uh, it, it's, it's kind of a sloppy rhythm to this, what I call this bump feel, this bump blues. Uh, it's almost a semi-lead and rhythm thing at the same time. I mean, you could play just... Which is probably what I'd tell somebody to play <laughs> if they were backing me up. But, I, you know, I like to slop it up more. And color it when I, when I went to the four... I was using the seventh chord and attempting to bend the third without bending the whole chord. And then the old favorite raise nine. And then I did the seventh with the, uh, the little sustain pedal on it. Oh, and you I mean you can just bang this thing. That's what I love about E. You got all those open strings happening, and uh, and you can let them let them ring out while you're playing the chords. It just gives it a huge sound, real big sound. I think, I mean, I think of blues. When I think of blues, I think of the the walking blues. You know, the slow, the doom, doom, and then some of the stuff. It's just got that. <laughs> It's got that bump to it, and uh, and that's where it comes from, I guess. Just uh, and that's another cool one because you got that open E in there. It's the seventh with the fifth on top there. Which stems from all those Jimmy Reed. Not sure where I got that. Or an A it would be. And I got the, yeah, I got the seventh open. It's one of those things that shouldn't work all the time, but does. You got all those open strings happening and thrashing around and you know, it's rock and roll, and it's blues, and it's the kind of music where stuff doesn't have to work, but it does. <laughs> it does.